Kelly McFrederick, Kelly Staging Creations, the staging broker. Hey, the redheaded staging broker, come on in. This is the house we finished in far, far away land of Odessa, Florida. So what we did real quick, some of you saw the fours on these. We added the foyer piece and put some ooh la la pieces with it. Added some color. Let's go to the dining room. We got the flowers on the wall. We can't do anything with them, but we can work with them. And when you're coming into a house this size, it's obviously pretty big. We want to have a, a feeling of formal. People want to have a little bit of ego. So I chose these pictures to go with it. Love these. And you know that we love to dress up the table. Yes, we do. All day long. Okay, so here we are. And it's a very pretty plate that do go with the wallpaper. We're not going to overdo it. We're going to work with the flowers, but we're also just going to make sure we have a piece big enough to fit this area. Hey, you want to see my very favorite thing in the world? That little alcove right there. A little bit of contemporary, a little bit of pop, a little bit of red goes, ooh! I did that one as a favorite. Here we are in the living room. We did the furniture how many times? Okay, so a couple times, two, three times. And what we did here, we want to make sure, here's what's most, most important. That's my door to get outside. I'm still on the outside in this house more than inside because it needs a little bit of updating. Great, great, great house. But we want to make sure people understand the flow, the bounce, the structure of the house. So come on in. So here's what we did. Notice how well I can get outside. Yay. Okay, go that this way. Put the patio table here so you can see it. Look at all the groupings we have, but we can able to sit well. Lots of fun color. Use paintings that tie everything in. I love, you got to have the big paintings. It works, it works, it works. And then we got a little grouping here. I didn't want to go all one color. Boring. So bring in a little bit of, bring a little bit of cream, add some black, add some formal. Because look, I got black seats over the dining room. So I got a little bit of black here. Make it happen. Red accents. Everywhere you go. One, two, three. Ties it all in together. Make sure our artwork coordinates. I love thinking about a glass of wine. Try a little glass of bourbon too here, quick. Okay, come on. Master bedroom. Here we go. Actually, we're going to make a little pit stop in the office. This is our office. What we wanted to do was show it as a little bit of masculine over here, but yet we have, it was painted pink, not my favorite for staging, but we had to work with it. And so we're okay, because there's many women that are working at home too on an office, but we want to give enough room that we have a seating arrangement. Love the shutters, didn't want to block those off, so we made the grouping go this way. I know, I need to have, this is the cocktail on the rocks, get it, cocktail on the rocks. Uh-huh, okay, I got it, okay. In our base, ah, looks like a rattlesnake. Okay, but it works, there we go, pretty little bar area. We're gonna have fun over here. Okay, not too great of a bathroom, but it's a nice cool bath, it's here. So look what we did, go in and take a look at that. Look at the pretty towels, a little pretty staging. You can't fight the house, you gotta work with the house. It's pretty either way, show people what you can do with it and make it look great. Oh good Kelly, just knock it all the way down. Oops, okay, come on. Let's go, Chloe. Chloe's a photographer today. Remember Chloe? She's my daughter. Yeah, little cute blondie. That's fine. Okay, we're here. Master bedroom. Remember I told you I wanted it open, full of seating? This is what we want. We have like a lot of things in here, but instead of being plain, we want to make it more interesting. Gotta get the little pieces of stuff we've been playing with off. I love my naked lamps. These are some of my favorite lamps. I love these naked lamps. They always sell a house every single time. I don't know how many globes I've gone to. But I wanted lots of seating because it's a big room. And look behind you. We took paintings that were the color of the wall, put them on this wall to bring the color over. We went ahead and just put the drapes back on, just a little bit because we want to, we don't just want to close them off when we leave. Not great drapes, but at least people know we have something here. Love the seating arrangement. We did the seating arrangement, even though it doesn't seem like a lot. We moved it so many times. Because what I want to think about is, look at this view. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to drink out of the vase. And be able to read a book. I need a book. Eat my chocolate strawberries. I just can't get them off the plate. Oh well, I need a little blue stuff on there. And all I want to do is say I can. I'm up and up to the bedroom. I can read, watch TV. I have my beautiful view. And what you want to always do is always think about how do you welcome people to the party. You never want to close anything up. You want to open it up. Love the paintings up there. They coordinate with the colors. Again. We didn't want to get real busy, we want to work with it. Here we're introducing people. <laughs> we're going to have flowers. Here we are, flowers. Okay, this was from a long, 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 long time ago for the galaxy. But we're going to work with what we have because this is what staging is and I still love it. But we added the chair, we moved it up, love the bases again, we tied these up. Nice arrangement there. And look at this great piece. Isn't this tremendous? 
kind of like barely in there, just in a pot, just a temporary pot, candle towels, feathers, and again, it just says, I'm here. I love the little pineapple lamp. I love this. Oops, I get the cord over this way. So love that. And we're able to say it looks a little bit newer than it did before. I like it. We're going to work with it. Got it. We have it. Okay, come on. We're going to hit the family room. Living room. Dining room. Oh, I have to remember to shut your laundry room doors. We're coming into the kitchen. Not our favorite spot in the world because sadly we knew that it was went from a blue to white. Not the blue was great, but at least it was better than off-white on white. Ooh, needed that contrast with the backsplash. But we went ahead and added some color up here. I got a great outlook there. Made sure people know that they're seated. This is a bar you can sit at right here. And we got a little bench behind, so we like that. Okay, remember, always remember to take your tools out of the sink. Remember that. It's a big stage in heat. We're going to have some pie. I think we've seen pie before in the other house, right? So here we have some colorful vignettes. Not overwhelmed, but it looks nice. It's opened up. And look at this table. Normally you put a round one on here. I said, no! Not us. We're going to do oval because it fits the shape of this. So we put the oval one on. Dressed the heck up at it. Made it fun. Look, Chloe, there's more strawberries. We just can't eat them. It's like a big staging tease. But it's all right here. Here we go. So we just dressed it up. We just used different chargers, black, but we mix and match. It works. This is the family room. It is my favorite room in the house. You know why? Because it was the hardest room in the house to work with. We did not have, this is where the lady used to play bridge, but we had to say, now there was me buying a house to play bridge in for this room. So what we want to do is say, hey, we're over here. I can have a seating arrangement here. I can look outside, very, very important. That's again, that's what we're selling. And you know what? The whole thing says I'm gonna be sitting over here at the breakfast table, walk into the family room, and it's wide open for entertainment. And it doesn't look like it was set up for one piece of furniture, it was look like it was set up that you can do many, many things you want. You have a big family room area, almost like the old-fashioned, I call it not old-fashioned, but the southern gathering room is what this reminds me of. I love it. Open to the kitchen, look over there. And you can just see how it just flows together. We just did a little stand here. I like that. You can put a TV wherever you want. They may remember they could have a TV here watching from there. Chloe and I in this big mirror. It was 100 pounds. It was huge. We did it. And that was my famous, 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 famous place in that awning. What do you call it? Place in that on an awning. What do you call Balance. this place, Chloe? Balance. That's what we have there. It's so very famous. We're going to be known forever, forever for that. Place that room, balance. Anyway, look outside. The whole house is situated to, this is what we're selling. We want to have everything grouped for entertaining. We want to have the equity, because we want to get people to the windows, looking outside and joining. There's more, almost not more equity outside, but that is truly going to be selling the house more. I mean, we don't want a whole lot of distractions from the front door to here. We just want to show how you can live update it, pop it, how big it is for entertaining and family. And we did it! We did it, Chloe! Yes! Over and out, Kelly McFredrick. See ya!